I found a cool little product. This is the Neotech HDMI extender. This allows me to send HDMI signal from one device to another device. So I have my cable TV in my living room and I can send it straight through to my kitchen at a dirt cheap price. Keep watching, I'll tell you more about them. Hi there YouTubers and welcome to another video from Air Gundology. On this channel we do a whole load of air rifles, air pistols and today technology reviews. So if you're new here, stumbled on us, hit that subscribe button and also don't forget to check out the links down in the video description where you find all of our forums, our Facebook group and loads of other good stuff like our merchandising which you should definitely get hold of. But anyway, today I'm going to review the Neotech HDMI extender kit. Absolutely brilliant brilliant piece of kit. For those that don't know what these are, it's quite simple. What it allows you to do is take the output of your TV, let's say in your living room, and send the signal through to another TV, say in your kitchen, so that you can duplicate the displays. Why would you want to do that? Well, quite simply, if you're in the front room and you're watching, uh, let's say, a TV show, then you can go into the kitchen and you can look at it and watch it there while you're doing some cooking. Now, yes, there are ways of doing that with different cable companies, and in the UK, Sky have multi-room, but that does cost a lot of money. I have Sky multi-room. I have main Sky cable box downstairs, and then I have one up in the bedroom, but I just want, basically, a duplication of the TV in the, in the kitchen. So in the old days, I used to use one of these um, old analog AV senders, and I'll leave a picture of it there. Yeah, it sort of worked, uh, but the picture quality was terrible. It was prone to interference if somebody walked up the stairs in between the line of sight of the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, the sound quality wasn't that great, and it only used SCART cable, and it wasn't HDMI. So then I started looking at the modern day equivalents that you can get now, wireless ones like 5, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless ones. They can cost 100 to 200 pounds. And again, they are prone. You're not going to get perfect picture quality. They're prone to interference and they're expensive. So um, yeah, I thought there's got to be a better way and there is. 37 pounds from Amazon for these two little bad boys here. And what these are, are basically is exactly the same way of sending a HDMI signal, but through a network cable. So you, all you've got to do is route a network cable. So there is a downside, route a network cable around your house and basically then plug these bad boys in and away you go. How does it work? All right, you have, a trans, uh, you have a transmitter one, which is this side and you have a receiver. So let's look at the transmitter one. So on the transmitter one, basically, we have power in and we have a LAN cable here. Now, the, this is important. The LAN cable you use, the Ethernet cable, must be at least CAT6 or above. Now, I've used CAT7 and I'll leave a link up here um, where I got it on Amazon. It was fully plugged up, 25 meters, about 15 pounds. The spare I don't need, I just wrapped in a coil, which you'll see later on. But basically, a LAN cable here and a LAN cable on the receiver side here. So route that through your house, connect those two up there. We have a power in here, nice and simple. And then on the other side, we have the magic. The magic basically is you take your HDMI signal from your sky or your cable box here, and then you output it from this one to your TV or to your receiver. So what this box does is basically takes the HDMI, captures it, sends it out back to your TV, but also sends it down the LAN cable. What it's also really nice is that it has an IR blaster module here. So it, when you set, up, set this up with the, the receiver and the transmitter IR modules, it will actually capture from the other end the infrared that you're using through a sensor and then send it all the way down the cable to the opposite end and allows you to change your sky, your cable box as well. Really, really nice. Nice and simple. You can wall mount these up like so, but important. You've got to use a CAT6 or higher cable on there. So that's the transmitter side of it. Then we move on to the receiver. Again, equally sized, nice little wall mounts, really diddy. This is the size of my hand. Look how small it is. And basically on this side is the input for the LAN and then one HDMI output into the TV. What you're getting now here is proper digital lossless signal across the LAN cable Picture quality is going to be perfect. The sound quality is going to be perfect. Uh, there's a little reset button on here. 
power input and for the other end of the IR device on there. So easiest thing to do is let me show you a quick demonstration. I'll walk you around downstairs how I've got it set up and then I'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about it and tell you what I think of it. Okay, so I'm downstairs. Uh, this is my new LG C9 uh, OLED TV. I'll talk about that later. But that more importantly, what we've got down here is I have my Sky HD uh, box and my receiver. Now this will work quite happily on Sky Q as well. Uh, but if we, more importantly, let's move around the back. Let's see where the magic happens. So what we've got here is the actual Neotech box itself. Now this is actually a HDMI splitter and signal sender via the LAN cable. So what you do is you take your Sky output and you input it into one end of the box here and then HDMI output either into your receiver or into your TV. So everything functions as it normally would on your original box. What you have then is a power cable and the IR blaster cable here. And the important part here is this LAN cable, the connection here. This is how the signal gets sent to the other location. Now you need to use CAT6 or higher cable. I'm using CAT7. So again, I'll leave links and I'll show you pictures of this, but basically I got a 30 meter reel of this for about 25 pound from Amazon. Um, I just wrapped up the remainder of it there. And basically then we fed that through into the kitchen. If we go back around to the front, you can see that down here, I've got the IR blaster sat here. Uh, so basically what happens then is the infrared signals are sent to the sky box through that. So if we now go and wander back into the kitchen, so I've got this set. Now my run is about 15 meters. Now, if we come back in and we have a look at the back of the uh, TV here, you can see, here's the size of my hand. You can see how small this is. Now, this is the receiver end of it. So the cat cable come, the LAN cable, which is mine, cat seven comes in this end. So that's the signal now coming in. And then we have HDMI output into the back of the TV. We have a power cable and then we have the, I, the other side of the IR blaster. So nice, simple, compact little unit. And then we come around the front of the TV, we can see here is the IR blaster. And I don't know if we can see, but the picture quality on that is absolutely fantastic. No snow, no interference when people are walking around, no interference when other devices are on. And because I've got the IR blaster, what I've now got then is I've got the sky control box here. So literally now with the sky control box, I can sit here and I can flick through my channels. Now, obviously this is just changing the channels on the main TV as well. But um, a really simple, nice, elegant solution for those that want to basically extend their signal out to other devices. Um, so we're, we're going to have uh, Sky HD. We've got it upstairs as well, multi, multi box. We're also going to have Sky Q when that gets put in the same. But we just wanted the direct feed into the TV without having to add additional Sky boxes in there. Really simple, elegant solution. And it's just so nice and at a stupidly dirt cheap price as well. Lossless signal, brilliant. Okay, so we're back. And um, what do I think of these uh, Neotech um, HDMI extenders? Perfect solution. The price, 37 quid. <laughs> dead, dead simple. The size of them, they're light, they're easy. The wall mounting connectors, as I do, I just zip tie them to the back of the TV. Absolutely brilliant. These things will work up to 60 meters through a LAN cable. Some of the things you've got to watch out for with these is number one, is the, the LAN cable you use, the Ethernet cable, must be CAT6 or above. So I suggest you go and get CAT7, use the links I've given you below. It will send 1080p only. It will not send 4K. So if you've got a 4K TV and a 4K TV, don't expect it to work. So I'm basically just sending uh, uh, 1080p um, standard high definition through on these. Um, nice, nice and simple. Sometimes they might cut out and they don't work. There's a little reset button, hit it on the back there. I've not had that problem, other people have noticed it. The distance these will work up to lossless signal because they, it basically internally processes the signal and then modulates it to make sure for the distance of the cable you're going down. But the maximum distance these will work out to is 60 meters through a CAT6 or 7 cable. The other downside obviously is that you do have to run a cable through your house to be able to connect these two up, which then starts getting people thinking, does it work through power line adapters? No, 
it will not work for your electricity supply power line adapters. You've got to use CAT6 or 7. Will it work with an old network cable that I've got plugged in or my house is connected up with CAT5? No, it won't. It has to be CAT6 or 7. But what do I think of these? Absolutely brilliant. I wish I'd stumbled across these a long, long time ago. Nice and simple, easy to set up. The cost, the whole lot has cost me £37 plus £15. What's that? £51, £52. Absolute bargain. And the picture quality is bob on. Absolutely fantastic. And then you add into the fact that you've got the IR blaster so you can use your remote control. Brilliant. It works with Sky HD, guaranteed to work. I've tried, it works. It works with Sky Q as well. And I'm going, to, I, I've looked at the reports and talked to people who have used these on Sky Q. They work. I'm going to also use it for Sky Q as well. And definitely will definitely put a comment down in below just to prove on there that it works. But um, absolutely brilliant. Um, fantastic stuff. So um, the links are down below in the video description for uh, the Egonology Amazon links to these if you're interested in them. Check it out. Don't forget to check out our merchandising as well, which is new, and our stickers. And I'd love to know how do you do it. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. I'd love to hear them. Catch you on the next video. Don't forget to visit www.ergonology.com. On there you'll find all of our social media links and forums and 3D printed sections. Facebook group is there for you to discuss anything you want to do with air rifles, air pistols and technology. Our dedicated forum where you can buy and sell anything that you want with regards to air rifles and air pistols. As well as our 3D printed section where you'll find the cradles that you can purchase for the chronographs for FX and the ATM ballistic rangefinders.